What is up guys? I am Shane. Welcome back to One Minute in Louisiana and today we have our goat June bug. Yeehaw! Alright guys, well here I am with Boudreau and I am sitting on this goat milking stanchion. So we built this about 13 years ago when we got goats and we have dairy goats and this is where we milk them. And this thing worked great with no problems at all for the however long we uh, were milking, about 10 years. And then we got a goat named Junebug, and Junebug kind of caused a little problem. See, Junebug is a kicking goat, and she's always going to kick when you milk her. So we had to add these little, uh, well, these little devices right here. So what it is, is it wraps around her rear legs that she kicks with, and it holds them down. Because the problem is, when a goat starts kicking, you know, you're sitting here milking the goat. You have the bucket right here, and the goat's kicking, and it kicks your bucket, steps in the bucket, spills your milk on you. It's not good. So what these do is they hold down her rear legs so she can kick as much as she wants, but she can't reach the bucket. So I'm going to show you guys what it's like to milk a kicking goat. So let's get Junebug in here. All right, well, here's my goat feed. I put it in her little feeding trough, and now we have to get the goat in. So we open up the gate, and most times she's just going to come running in. And here's Junebug. Are you ready? Step right up and lock her head in. And then we have to clean her off because her udders are kind of dirty. Now you see this goat kicking? That's when you know you have to tie her down. So we take one um, strap here and we can loop it around her leg. See, she's already kicking. And then we can click, clip it on. And you see this goat is trying to kick. We got one leg done. Now it's time for the other one. All right, now her legs are tied up and she can't kick the bucket. So we're ready to start milking. So here's my milk bucket. And this is where those leg restraints come in handy. She can kick, but she can't reach the bucket. So now we can milk and not have to worry about that goat kicking the bucket. Now you see this goat kicking? That's the kicking goat. Now we actually don't know why Junebug kicks. She might be ticklish or because we've never had a goat that kicks when you milk her before. But you can see her kicking. So that's what Junebug does. The good thing is that she has to have at least three legs down the ground when she kicks. She can't kick with two. See, it's always a race to milk the goat before she's done eating because Junebug is a very fast eater. And we are just about done milking her and she's also just about done eating, so it might work out today. That's it. Alright, so this is all the milk we got from her. Now we have to um, spray her with a little, I think, any bacterial spray. Alright, and now it is time to let her go. So we're going to unclip her here. Then we can undo a little knot. Come on. We can undo a little knot and take it off her hook. She gets excited when we do that. Then we can undo her other one. All right, and this goat is untied. So now we gotta let her go. We're gonna open up the little escape hatch, unlock her. Let her get out. And that is how you milk a kicking goat. We actually got a lot of milk from her. Here it is. This is all the milk that we got and she did not kick it or knock it over. And once you're done milking your goat, it's time to give your dog his bones. So we let Bujo out, give him his two little milk bones and he'll grab them both and run off. Bye bye buddy. And there's the kicking goat. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and here is one goat and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, give it a like and share this video with your grandmother and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.